Hi, video eight of the Heart 2402 lecture series. Uh, and the last one. So uh, I'm sure you'll have to go back and watch them anyway. So it's really not the last one. Uh, let's talk about some disorders. Homeostatic imbalances. That sounds fancy, right? Um, so something wrong, out of balance with your homeostasis. So basically a disorder. Uh, big one, congestive heart failure. Simply put, you're not getting enough bl oxygenated blood out to the body, wherever parts of that body you, we might be talking about. So inadequ inadequate cardiac output. Uh, this can be due to a number of things. Coronary atherosclerosis. That's easy for me to say. Coronary atherosclerosis. Now, what that means simply is athero means arteries and sclerosis, some kind of scler sclera or uh, buildup, uh, fatty buildup. And that's not good. If you have it in your coronary arteries, the ones that supply your heart, well, your heart has to pump blood to itself. And if you're not getting that, uh, if it's being restricted because of a buildup, then you're going to potentially have a, a, a myocardial infarction, so a, a heart attack. Hypertension, bad one, like I said. If you've got uh, a high diastolic, any either of them is bad on the blood vessels, but the diastolic one in particular, if it's high, is going to be uh, resistant to the heart pumping the blood out. So you're basically having to push X amount harder just to get the same amount of blood out, which is really hard on your heart in the long term and not good on your blood vessels either. Uh, myocardial infarction. So myo, muscle, cardio, uh, heart, right? So heart muscle block. If you if the muscle uh, is deprived of oxygen for fairly short periods of time, it uh, it dies, and uh, then you get scar tissue replacing it, which doesn't contract. Your heart will still work, but it's just if it's already suffering enough to have a heart attack, and then you have a heart attack, it's not going to work any better, right? It's just going to work worse. So try not to have your first heart attack. Dilated cardiomyopathy. Again, big words, easy thing. Dilated, dilation, uh, to make bigger. Your pupils dilate and get bigger, right? Cardio, heart, myo, muscle, pathy, uh, disease. So expanded heart muscle disease. If you've, This can be due to a number of things as listed there, but uh, any number of uh, these, these different things can contribute, but... Uh, if you end up suffering from these stretched out, sort of flabby, weak ventricles, that's not good. Pulmonary congestion and peripheral congestion simply mean that uh, that there's backup, right? Congestion. So if it's pulmonary backup, that means the blood's not being pumped. It's being sort of stuffed into the pulmonary circuit, which means that the blood's not getting back from the systemic circuit very well. If you flip it around, peripheral congestion, you're getting blood backing up in the arteries of the body, uh, not the lungs, and that's due to uh, some sort of, you know, congestion, I guess. That's kind of redundant, huh? Last um, table or last figure, and I'm going to be really brief on this. I'm not going to go into much detail. This is your heart developing. I left out some stuff in the complete notes, grayed out some stuff, but here it is. You, your heart kind of starts out as a tube right, with the blood coming from inferiorly and going superiorly. As you proceed, it kind of does this torsion. You can see it kind of twisting around, right, it kind of contorts, so that this is the flow right here. Now it's taking this S-shaped curve. It gets a little crazy over here. You don't have to know all this stuff. I'm not a cardiologist. Um, but suffice it to say that you're going to end up with two circuits. You're going to have a pulmonary circuit on the right and a systemic circuit on the left with an atrium and a ventricle and an atrium and a ventricle. And this is still early on. What kind of defects can you see in your heart at birth? Uh, septal, septum defects. So if you've got a hole in your heart, it can be ventricular or atrial, but that's gonna mix blood from the left and the right sides, which you definitely don't want to do as an air-breathing terrestrial mammal. You wanna have those things separate so you can get deoxygenated blood to the place where it gets oxygen and then send all that oxygen out to the cells. Other uh, things can be aortal contraction, which is a sort of a narrowed aorta or, a, or the pulmonary artery for that matter. And what's called a patent, patent, 
this looks like patent, but they say patent, uh, or open ductus arteriosus. And the ductus arteriosus in an embryo connects the aorta to the pulmonary trunk. You have a foramen ovale, which connects the left, I'm sorry, right atrium to the left atrium, so that as an embryo, when you're, when you're getting all of your oxygen from mommy through your umbilical cord, you want to mix the blood up so that your lungs can get oxygen, the rest of your body can get oxygen. So holes in your heart are great, and a connection between your arteries is great as an embryo. As soon as you're born, those things clench up, right? So this foramen ovale will clench up and become that fossa ovalis. The ductus arteriosus should clench up and become the ligamentum arteriosum, and we'll talk about that in a little much later chapter. Here's some problems with getting older, all right? Uh, the valves can thicken, uh, cardiac reserve gets worse, cardiac muscle becomes fibrotic, gets uh, fibers, and of course the ever-present threat of atherosclerosis. Uh, and here's where I lecture you. Here's where I, I get on my soapbox. Uh, exercise, please, all right? Uh, eat smart and exercise as much as you can. Uh, cardiovascular exercise. It's hard work, okay, but it's going to let you live a much longer, healthier life, all right? You're going to be able to climb stairs. You're going to be less likely to have a heart attack. You're going to uh, have less cost, and that's going to contribute tremendously to that. And then the food bit, you know, of course you're going to cheat and eat. I eat ice cream, whatever. Uh, I eat red meat, but, uh, you know, just try to watch it. Okay, that's the end of the heart lectures. Thank you.